Morning, this is Gracie Opulanza and I'm all about opulent and eccentric lifestyle. You can find out a lot more about me on GracieOpulanza.com. Welcome to Laos and I'm in the city of Luang Prabang. And I have travelled all over the world and I have travelled and I live in Southeast Asia. What's so special about the Wang Prabang in Laos is it's quiet, there's no crazy motorbikes, no stray dogs, no tourists that are wearing clothing that you can see their bum cheeks, you can see their breasts. It's a very elegant and different um, style of travellers. Now a fast train was opened up here from China in 2021 hence the Wang Prabang has grown tenfold in the sense of tourism. Highly recommend you come here within the next year because I think it's just going to get flooded clearly by um, the accessibility from people from China and the tourists that flock here they're a different tourist and it's really nice it's very quiet there's no loud motorbikes there's no karaoke there's no stray dogs there are not uh, culturally dominated by one culture of travellers French influence both in architect and patisseries is one of the best foodie experiences I've tasted in Southeast Asia. So make sure when you come here, go to the local cuisines, but go for the French pastries like mango crumble, like passion fruit tart, beautiful fresh juices. Now Currency has dropped, so food is really inexpensive. I had an amazing pasta yesterday. Hummus, the variety of food is fantastic. I'm in Laos, in um, the city of Luang Prabang, and it's just stunning. Apart from Niagara Falls, about an hour from here is one of the most spectacular waterfalls. Um, I've ever seen in my life. Luang Prabang. Now I'm going to go to another major city on the fast train today and I'll show you that a few hours. Normally it would have taken me one, about 10 hours to get there. It's going to be one hour and a half on the fast train thanks to China. We're in Laos. Have a look at this. The architect is French inspired and it's beautiful. It's culturally very different to Vietnam, China, Thailand, Malaysia. It's Neymar, it's completely different. And the architect is beautiful, fantastic boutiques. Big money's coming, has come in here. But look at this, look. I'm in a temple for 50p, 50 euro cents. Accessibility, Luang Prabang. Come here before it gets flooded. It already has grown tenfold. There's no fake fashion. There's no Chanel, fake Chanel. There's no fake Prada. The artists here are very skilled in bamboo. The traditional embroidery skirt which I've bought. Very gentle culture. I'm finding most people speak um, English. Just look at that. Luang Prabang in Laos. Oh my goodness. Royal Cars Exhibition. Have a look at this.
more from here, one of the most spectacular waterfalls. Fantastic food with a French twist. I met a lady that critiques pastries. She said it was one of the most amazing passion fruit tarts she's ever tasted in her life. And she lives in France. Go figure that. Look at this building. The luscious uh, the Mekong River, fantastic eateries, beautiful, quiet experiences on the Mekong River. It's just beautiful, it's really quiet. That's incredibly becoming more difficult and challenging in Southeast Asia, in the world generally. No stray dogs, no dogs, no karaoke. Elegant travellers, travellers. I find here respecting the culture, not wearing skimpy outfits like Thailand, horrendous. Isn't this gorgeous? I've been going that building. But everything is spotless, it's clean. visiting here it's in February one of the best times December January February it gets down to 15 degrees at night here in Luang 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 in Laos but I'm finding uh, during the day up to 33 up to 36 this week but it's a different heat to Thailand it's not humid it's dry again culturally very calm here very different set of tourists. It's not saturated market yet, but it's going to be sadly. I mean, there's already a big hotel uh, being built outside the UNESCO heritage here. Uh, clearly, you know, China uh, created the fast train here, so that's expected. I don't know what it will become in a few years, but I get here sooner than later. You're not going to get the authenticity of what you're going to get. No, now, U Boutique, see Bulgari Boutique, M, M Gallery Boutique. Excellent food, excellent presentation, excellent service. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, am I allowed to film? But just look at that. The one, Raban, Laos. Get here sooner than later. It's a very fast train from China. Hence, a lot of, lot of different Chinese here that actually speak very good English. I'll just say it. The Chinese that I've met here are very different to the Chinese that flock to Europe. I've seen, uh, um, I've seen since where we are, Luang Prabang. Uh, so I've seen uh, a lot of Chinese number plates driving from China. Can't drive from Thailand, but the roads are horrendous outside. Let's have a look here. It's gorgeous. What a beautiful setting. It's really getting developed. Beautiful boutiques, artisans, no fake fashion. Okay, hold on. So this is silk, right? This is silk, only yes. silk. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yes. Come along, Jilly. Chin -chin. So you have like a little, oh. it's our dye house, and you have uh, all different kinds of silk and thick and thin and uh, different colors over the years. And as I said, this is our 35th year. So when I do every day, just now. Yes. Oh. 
was here by appointment and she chose some blue to um, custom, we're gonna have to custom dye for her and then we'll weave her for her house. She wanted two panels that uh, complement each other. So just dyeing the color. All the way from India, that she came in yeah. commission. Yeah. Wow, Carol, yeah. congratulations. Nice. Yeah. So I'm just dyeing that color down for her. Why? Why did you choose to come here 35 years I ago? I came here with the United Nations. I was a weaving expert with the UN. Wow. And I came working with the Lao Women's Union, which yep. is a government entity. Yes. And uh, I came here in 1989, and then I started with my husband. Yes. The first, uh, among the first private business in Lao TV. Oh. Years. Our son was one, yes. and he'll be 36 next month. And is he still here, your son? Oh, he comes and goes. Oh, of course. Goes. <laughs> yeah. Let's have a look here. Yeah. Oh, this is amazing. I hear it's being made. Look at yourself. It's and look, just the, the skill, the patience. So this is why, my friends, when you're buying in Laos, stop negotiating the price because you're supporting the artisans. It's a skill. It's not fast fashion, and it's one of its kind. And um, I bought a beautiful jacket and some skirts and uh, will educate you the difference of this and what I bought. Beautiful. It's just timeless, isn't it? Let's move along. Look at the color. It just, I just cannot get enough of this. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna come around. Did you come? shed the, the basic weave, plain weave, down. Now she's gonna uh, beat that to secure the inlay. 
She's doing a second row of the same design in laying across. Wow. And this is how you build the design. One row of weft at a time. Ground weave, pattern weave. Ground weave, pattern weave. And what you have here on each of these looms yes. are different designs and different styles. We how long do ecot? Right. It depends on the piece. How right. long does it take? It can take uh, one week, uh, three weeks, five weeks. Inside, you have a big range. The more complex it is, the higher uh, price it is, yes. and the thickness of the silk and the thickness, etc. Oh, thank you, Carol. This is just so special. Yeah, yeah, we do. Oh. How many? Uh, 32 years, 33 years. We built the looms, we raised the silk, we dyed the colors, we create the designs from the historic textiles. Yes. Then we kind of um, reverse engineer them to reweave like the old ones. And then we have, of course, contemporary and modern pieces as well. And you have a lot of international What's your clientele? Just to um, well, this morning we had a gallery from Zurich. Wow. And he did an exhibition in 2020. But of course, COVID, things yes, were closed for three years. Yep. And then we have another friend here from Prague who's been buying my work for 20 years. And this is his eighth trip to Laos. Um, we had the French visitors just now. Fantastic. He found a beauty. He was very particular about mm. what he wanted. You, you yeah. He was selecting a very, very fine piece. I have a collection I call Woven Wind. Right. And he was buying Woven Wind. Yeah, um, uh, yesterday we had a client from India yes. who custom ordered uh, two hangings in a custom color piece. They had to be complementary pieces of the house. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the Rolls Royce, isn't it? Oh, this I is know. the Rolls Royce. I've been weaving for 50 years. Oh. This year is my 50th year. And do you have young, uh, younger children? From no, this is the second generation. Oh. Um, your mother started with me in They're not interested? What no, is it? No, they're not interested. You know, they're interested in a more modern... Oh, my you know, goodness. Yeah. Are, are we possibly talking a lost art here? Yes. How? You know, I don't know. Maybe there'll be a revitalization. Maybe yes. young people... Yes. Maybe they'll introduce weaving in the school and the curriculum in Laos. I don't know. They don't do that? No. Oh, my yet. goodness. Over here, I want to show you. Yes. Come in this way. Look, it's a global issue. Oh, you know, but... I was Mahal right. in November and the inlay artists that come from Persia many generations their children don't want to learn it so there'll be no one to repair the Taj Mahal. Oh my goodness. And every single thread gets tied on one at a time. Oh, you see what she's doing? She's taking one thread and she's tying it on. If you just watch that oh, did and you close up you both Filming her a bit more. Okay, yeah. okay. Here we have international school. They wanted to move for the graduates. Wow. I truly believe after COVID, and I see it in Italy because I live in Italy, um, and, and again, same problem is that because of social media, the digital world. We're going to see possibly my, not my daughter's generation, but the next up and coming. The intelligence and the skill of this, not this digital world, and that one day if online turns off, what are you going to do? How are you going to? How are you going to be? How are you going to stay warm? Yeah, it will come. And and the, oh yes, yes. Oh, this is just. Oh, you have quality control? Well, I don't know what it was when I did it. So here we make pretty clear this is not just showing the sleeve on a, on a large bowl thingy. So this is the finishing. We have to make she made the fringe. 
Yes. Now she's putting the sleeve. This is the oh, very large and the back side. She already so, finished the top. And there you can see. Oh that's my. Another. Generally, people commission as wall hanging art pieces. Would that be? Also, our furniture. Inside, we have a we'll huge have a look. Of color and, and we'll be able to see. Look at this. I will, I will. You are, as I said, the, this is the Rolls Royce of. And I've been in the Rolls Royce factory, so I don't say that lightly. <laughs> It is just, oh. So, beautiful. So, Carol, this skirt, you know, I see it everywhere. Uh, and because of naivety, I was saying, oh, that's, that's digitally made. Is that incredible? Well, uh, it, a lot of people, a lot of what, um, so. You I was in the one Prabang. Yes, you have a I, I, I cannot speak to what you've seen, yes. but there is an industry uh, built around um, loud designs that are mechanically and industrially produced. Yes, I and I cannot speak to that yes. because all we have here is yes. handwoven. Yes, um, I can say the difference. Pieces. This has tapestry weave. Oh. This has discontinuous. These are all every single piece yes. here has a provenance who made it, how it was made. So I can say the difference. You can see the difference, and um, that's why. Look, I paid forty US dollars, and I'm like, mm. it, I, I questioned it. You, I can. My experience tells me the difference, and therefore now I will choose something because I know it's handmade. It's just beautiful. Look. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh, what a find. Look at this. Yourself, come and have a look at this. I mean, I got something like this, but I still question whether it's. Look at that. We turn this into a cape. So a lot of people just commission them as art pieces. Oh my goodness. Just stunning, stunning. Oh. Opulent, everything opulent, like this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and we will, I will sign that. And can you go? Um, it's global. Okay. Oh, look. You can have a look around. And see something that catches yeah, our eye. This is uh, Kevin here. He's from San Jose. Right. Hello, like Kevin. Yeah. You like his style. Why are you here, Kevin? Uh, yes. And what? what? I love it. It's anti depressant I love it. What can I just ask you a question? So I'm just videoing. What's so special to you about this particular place, apart from Carol? Uh, that's a creative California, uh, American Dynamo. And my friend told me about her store. Right. And then and he was here. And then I went to the hotel. Here, so at the hotel, I was walked out and said, "Oh, that's Carol Castro." Yes, my friend said I was supposed to meet her. So then it's just right by the hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Two steps away, it was like more like destiny thing or whatever. So it's kind of funny. And what do you do with it? Uh, interior design, art. Well, I'm a, a garden designer, but these are for my friends. I'm just garden designer. Yeah, gar yeah. Uh -huh. What's trending? What's what's trending where you're at? Well, I'm out of the box, so it's somewhere else. Right? Out of the box. Yeah, I think people, I scare people. Yeah. Oh, you sound like me then. Brilliant. Oh, thank you, Gigi. I'm just going to video a bit more. Okay. And then uh, I'm gonna go. I want to video the lady one more time. I'm gonna video here again. Just stay there, Jitch. Oh my goodness! As I said, um, what a find! And and 35 years supporting artisans. 
second generation has embraced it, but the third is not even being taught at school. Oh, we have to change this. I'm just going to go in here again. So this is quality control. Quality control. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's showing me. A poncho. Oh, thank you so much. Look, even if you buy a frame, which I might. Oh, I'm just going to go back out here where it's all being done. is being made and this is where it's being produced so I'll say it again when you come to Laos Chien, which I am stop negotiating negotiating the price you wouldn't go into a Rolls Royce and say hey uh, we're gonna cut me a deal or a Bentley would you because this is what you're doing you wouldn't go into Dolce Gabbana Versace this is pure high-end luxury pure high-end luxury Pay the artisans their worth. Look at this. And as she said, basically this is like a microchip. She said a floppy disk. <laughs> For those that don't know what she means, the memory, the memory, the SIM card, your memory. And then th through her reading, reading that pattern, which mathematically, I mean, that just looks like nothing to me. She reads it. That's the program. That's the memory transforming into this. Do you understand? What you're seeing there with her foot, look, look, is then, that's the program, that's the pattern. That is a skill that you have to pay for. Oh, we have to continue this tradition. It cannot be a lost art. Look at it. Look at that. Patience, endurance. If you suffer from anxiety, depression, menopause, mental health, come and do this. The diligence, the tenacity, the patience, the skill. Brain fog, this will cure it all. She's using her mind. Her hands, it's priceless. And the Western European skill like this is skill. This is better than an influencer. Yeah. Colours. Just to give you an idea. Just one second. A skirt. I think this is cute. And this is how you can tell if it's the original because look at the back of it. So the ones that I bought don't have this. So when they told me to one for it takes a week and it's all made like this. I knew they were lying to me, but I understood.